waves motion transverse waves longitudinal waves and wave wave motion is called simple harmonic motion before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free firstly understanding the easy concept of waves well when you disturb the particles of any medium such that those particles start oscillatory motion about their mean position waves are produced in the medium so there are two conditions to produce a certain waves in any medium disturb the particles of the medium and this disturbance should oscillate the particles of the medium as a result of this waves are produced in the medium for example consider a guitar when you pluck the string of the guitar you disturb the particles of the string from the mean position these particles start oscillating about their mean position and sound waves are produced secondly hitting a cup constantly during hitting you disturb and set the particles to oscillate about their mean position as a result sound waves are produced thirdly when you throw a pebble into the lake you disturb the particles of the water they start oscillatory motion about their mean position as a result you observe waves across the lake thus from these examples we learn that if we disturb the particles of any medium such that they oscillate about their mean position waves are produced in the medium also remember that waves transfer energy from one place to other place without transferring the particles of the medium now there are two types of waves mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves in this video i will teach you only about mechanical waves now what are mechanical waves well waves produced by the oscillation of material particles are called mechanical waves remember that the propagation of mechanical waves requires medium no medium means no mechanical waves for example we cannot receive the sound of explosion outer in the space it is because sound waves travel in the form of mechanical waves mechanical waves are further divided into two types like transverse waves and longitudinal waves now let me teach you about transverse waves if the oscillations of particles are in y direction and motion of the wave is in x direction we call it transverse wave let me repeat it if the oscillations of particle are in y direction and motion of the wave is in x direction we call it transverse wave note down that in transverse waves the angle between oscillations of particles and wave motion is 90 degree are they both are perpendicular to each other for example consider the waves produced in this slinky spring your hand moves up and down in y direction while the wave move in x direction so it is an example of transverse waves transverse waves are made out of consecutive crusts and troughs the part of wave above mean or equilibrium position is called crust while the part of wave below the mean or equilibrium position is called trough the example of transverse waves are water waves and electromagnetic waves are em waves like x rays radio waves light waves etc finally let me teach you about longitudinal waves if the oscillations of particle are in x direction as well as the motion of wave we call it longitudinal wave let me repeat it if the oscillations of particles are in x direction 
as well as the motion of wave, we call it longitudinal wave. Note down that in longitudinal waves, the angle between oscillations of particles and wave motion is zero degree and they both are parallel to each other. For example, consider the waves produced in this spring. Here, your hand moves back and forth in X direction while the wave also moves in the X direction. So, it is an example of longitudinal waves. Longitudinal waves are made out of consecutive compression and rare fraction. The region of relatively high density and pressure is called compression, while the region of relatively low density and pressure is called rare fraction. The example of longitudinal waves are sound waves. The sound we produce are here travels in the form of longitudinal waves. Lastly, as a bonus tip, why wave motion is also called simple harmonic motion? Well, consider the motion of transverse waves and longitudinal waves. In transverse waves, your hand or particles of the medium move up and down about their mean position, while in longitudinal waves, your hand or particles of the medium move back and forth about their mean position. We have already learned in our previous lectures oscillatory motion in which particles of the body moves up and down or back and forth about their mean position is also called simple harmonic motion or SHM. Therefore, during wave motion, the particles of the medium execute simple harmonic motion about their mean position. To summarize my lecture, we have learned that if we disturb the particles of any medium in such a way that they start oscillatory motion, waves are produced in that medium. Secondly, we learned that there are two types of waves electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves. Thirdly, we learn that mechanical waves may be either transverse waves or longitudinal waves. In transverse waves, the direction of oscillation of particles and wave motion is perpendicular to each other, while in longitudinal waves, the direction of oscillations of particles is parallel to wave motion. This was all about waves, transverse waves and longitudinal waves.